hi, good evening. I have a very important update about Florida's free kill law. Uh, if you've been following it all, I'm with Florida Medical Rights Association. I'm currently chairman of the board, and we have been actively seeking support to amend, actually repeal, Florida Statute 768.21, specifically subsection 8, where um, a children, adult children and adults with no um, minor children and who are not married are not treated equally under this law as far as medical malpractice goes. Uh, there are no rights for these individuals and we've been trying very hard to uh, ensure that all Floridians have equal rights and equal protection under the law. Um, so there is a bill, a House bill, uh, House Bill 651, sponsored by Representative Spencer Roach, that is going to be um, heard in uh, the Civil Justice Subcommittee, Civil Justice and Property Rights Subcommittee on March 4th, this coming Thursday. I realize it's short notice, but they just posted that it was going to be heard as of today it was posted actually. So uh, we weren't given a lot of notice either. Um, but it is going to be heard on Thursday. And if you have, um, they have, he has put forth a repeal of partial of the law uh, just uh, for the adult children. So in other words, if you have lost a child and you were unable to seek justice because of this law, this is your chance to have your voice heard. And, and the way that you can do that is to go to the link that's also in this message where you can register. Uh, once you register, um, there is a, a room number that is provided and um, there is a, a test, you, you'll be able to give testimony in Tallahassee um, during the hearing. So I, I encourage you to go and, and to do this if you have lost a child. It is really the most important venue in which your voice can be heard around your loss and where your voice can make a difference in whether or not this bill moves forward to repeal that law. Um, additionally, we are also watching uh, Senate Bill 1112, which was filed by Senator Ana Maria Rodriguez. Um, that does not have a testimony date yet, a hearing date yet, but has been filed in exactly the same way where it repeals the law as far as adult children are concerned. Um, and uh, so if we hear more about that and an opportunity to testify, we will let you know. It's really good news that there is one in the House and one in the Senate. Um, and we're hoping to get added the uh, repeal of the entire subsection eight. Um, so stay tuned for that. There are upcoming meetings uh, where we're going to be heard on our thoughts about that at the very least. Um, and we wanna see equal rights for all Floridians. So I appreciate your time tonight. If you can't make the hearing um, and you still wanna support and you still want help, which is important, right? And, and not all of us can just get on a, a plane or drive to Tallahassee on such short notice. I'm also gonna include a link with a list of the members of the committee that will be hearing the bill. And it is possible that you could get through to them, uh, give them a call on the phone and basically tell them that you know what your feeling is on this bill and that you would like it to to pass if that is and so the case and indeed the case uh, so that your voice can be heard by the people who are voting on the bill so that's another opportunity to be heard and uh, i hope that each of you take it uh, if you want more information you're welcome to join our meetings they're every other tuesday nights and you can get access to those meetings by visiting uh, floridamedicalrights.org. There's a form on the front page and we would welcome you into our community as we all together uh, come together twice a month in order to uh, find ways to share awareness about this law and see what we can do to change it. Together our voices can be heard as one. Uh, any one of us has not a chance just to do it on our own and so we come together to try and get this done together. Um, thank you and good night.